Are you like Derek, who no matter how hard he tries, just constantly feels like he's not being productive? His focus is scattered all over the place, to the point that he can sit down hours to work and not accomplish anything. And to make things worse, his online business has made a total of zero profits this year. His fear of failure stops him from taking consistent action. So he's still working the same nine to five job that he actually hates. He feels so guilty and ashamed because no matter what he tries, he just can't seem to get over his laziness and get work done. If this sounds like you and you're someone that just can't seem to figure out why they always procrastinate, then this video is one of the most important videos that you can watch this year. Over the past three years, I've done over $60 million in profit. I've burnt companies to the ground due to lack of focus and productivity. I've had to learn to juggle things like creating YouTube content, running Australia's fastest growing e-com brands, hanging out with my friends, hanging out with my girlfriend and spending time with my family. I realized that if I wanted to be successful in all areas of my life, I needed to create my own productivity hacks. If I didn't have these seven simple productivity methods to follow, my entire life would collapse under a mountain of stress. These are the reasons that I can wake up feeling clear and sharp in the morning, I can spoil my girlfriend, I can travel to amazing places. I guarantee that if you implement them into your life, that you'll see a massive increase in how quickly you get things done. So let's not waste any more time and get straight into it. If you scrapped everything else on this list today and only focused on this single productivity routine, you would go from someone who is sloppy and unorganized to a results producing machine. It's so effective that people like Elon Musk and Bill Gates swear by it, and it's called time blocking. Time blocking is a technique where you block out specific tasks in your calendar at a specific time of the day. This allows you to get hyper-focused on one thing without any distractions. If you take a look at my calendar, you can see every single second of my awake hour has a task allocated. Time blocking isn't exactly new, but the lessons we go through today will help you get the most out of the technique. Each week, usually on a Monday, me and my assistant will go through all of my emails and all of my to-do lists and we'll basically block 15 to 60 minute tasks throughout the week for me to get them done. The task can be as simple as replying to an email or studying newsletters to get the latest on marketing and product trends. This gives me so much headspace to think clearly throughout the week because throughout the rest of my week, I don't get distracted by having to reply to random emails. Now, you might be thinking, I don't have an assistant yet, but this method is still extremely valuable for you. And let me explain why. It'll also drastically reduce the amount you procrastinate, those really annoying tasks that you hate doing. If it's in your calendar and for a set time to focus on it, you'll make sure that you get it done. It also really helps with time management because you can actually see do I have enough time to take on this new venture or do this new thing or do I need to delegate it to someone else if your whole week the week after is completely full then you're gonna need to actually delegate or actually start saying no to things which people will start respecting the next way I 10x my productivity is by resetting my dopamine and I'll be honest this is something that I've really struggled with in the past I used to use things like binge drinking and binge eating to switch off which can be effective in the short term, but comes with a lot of negative side effects. So I decided to go super deep into investigating the topic to try to find the best way people like me could reset their dopamine levels and avoid burning out. But before I dive into the solutions that I found, let me explain what dopamine actually is. Dopamine is a chemical in your brain that is responsible for happy feelings when you reach a goal or eat something delicious. When your dopamine levels are high, you'll notice that you wake up with more motivation and you're much more focused to complete your daily tasks. But when your dopamine levels are low, you'll absolutely feel zapped. You'll have a feeling of emptiness and boredom and it will just slowly consume you. It can affect things like your sleep, your eating habits, your mood, even your libido. So how can you reset your dopamine? After searching through a bunch of garbage on the internet, I finally came across Andrew Huberman. He's got an amazing podcast. He's a neuroscientist that knows exactly what he's talking about. He says that the best way to reset your dopamine is just having a break from work at least two times a week. That advice instantly made me realize where I'd been screwing up. I used to work a crazy amount of hours through the week and then to give myself rest, I spent two days partying with friends, which completely derails me and kills my productivity for the next two days while I recover. So I followed Huberman's advice. I started introducing a half day break on Wednesday where I just do non-destructive things to reset my dopamine. I also found that spending time in nature really did reset my brain. This allowed me to do my next productivity hack, which is forcing boredom. This is something that a lot of people will never do and it actually scares them but it allows you to solve problems
names that you couldn't think of. Some of my best ideas like licensing Disney have come from forcing boredom and those bored moments. Most people think that boredom is destructive when actually boredom can do amazing things for your productivity. When we're bored, our minds are free to wander and come up with solutions to problems that we thought were unsolvable. This is because our brains aren't everywhere. They're not thinking about lots of different things so we can think more creatively. One of the ways that I do this is using our first technique, which is time blocking, just to create a walk where I have to do nothing else but just listen to music and be with my dog. Sometimes I don't even listen to music and I leave Sherlock at home just so I can really, really be bored. It's basically a mini monk mode that allows my brain to slowly calm down from all of the thinking that I've done during the day. And then the magic just starts to happen. I'll get solutions instantly pop into my head that I've been struggling with all day. And by the time I get home, I feel happy and motivated to tackle the problems I just couldn't solve before. So give it a go. Maybe go meditate or just go for a walk and see how creative you can get. So the next one is a big one to make sure that you make every single day count. It's about key priority tasks. Every single morning I go into my Apple notes and I write, if I could get two things done today, what are those two tasks? I write them down and at the end of every single day, I check and make sure that I achieve them. This prevents those days where you just work on all of these small things that just really don't matter. I like to call that mental masturbation. It makes you feel good, but it really doesn't achieve anything. I also just have a whiteboard on my desk, a small whiteboard, and I write down my key goals for the months, like my key tasks. Generally, these tasks need to match up with my main focuses for the month. The next productivity hack, you might already be on your way to doing it, but you might not understand just how smart it is. It's called Uber Eats everything. It doesn't really matter if you're an entrepreneur or you're just working a part-time job. You need to designate an hourly rate to yourself. If you're working for someone else, it's really, really easy to do because basically your hourly rate is what they could pay you. It doesn't really matter if you're an entrepreneur or you're working for someone else. Everyone has an hourly rate that they should be charging themselves out for. This can get a little bit complicated. If you are an entrepreneur, you could kind of look at your hourly rate as your total profit of the business divided by the amount of hours that you work or you you could even look at it as if you're going to consult your time for someone else. My hourly rate that I charge myself out at is $3,000 an hour. Yours might be more like $100 an hour, but that still means that you should Uber Eats everything. And let me explain why. Let's say cooking your meal takes 40 minutes and it takes 20 minutes to clean up. That's just costed you $100. Compare that to the savings that you're going to make by cooking your own meals and cleaning up. It just doesn't make sense. It's, you're going to save maybe $10, $20. This gives you the excuse that if you want to focus on your business, you can spend money on all of those kind of things. Now, if cooking is just an absolute passion for you, then of course, get into the kitchen and enjoy it. You need to be really conscious that every second that you spend outside of doing your business, you should be charging yourself for. Now, the next point is using social media. You're probably thinking because I'm posting on YouTube or Instagram that I'm always on the platforms. That's not the case. I actually delete the platforms during the week. When I do happen to install it, my bad habits come straight back and I always just open it up when I'm just in between tasks, which is so unproductive. It stimulates parts of your brain, gives you dopamine hits and just really, really distracts you. It ruins your focus. This is why I use tools like OneSec. Now, I'm not associated with any of the tools here but one sec is an app that pops up on your iphone and makes you wait three or 20 seconds or even 50 seconds to get into the app it really stops those random little pickups that you unconsciously do to go onto your iphone the other thing that i also use is stay focused it's just a chrome extension that can block certain websites during certain times so you can block twitter instagram facebook during times that you're not working on your social media that way you can block both your iphone and your computer and you can get off the social media platforms during the week. It's crazy to think that our attention spans over time has really, really dropped. In the 2000s, there were studies that showed that it was about 12 seconds. Now, there's studies that show it's only eight seconds due to social media. Even things like Netflix and Hollywood have removed that title sequence because we just get so bored. I remember watching all of these old movies and there's this long title sequence that we're just not used to anymore. The next hack I follow isn't actually a productivity hack. It's an anti-productivity hack, but I love it. It's the five hour rule. People like Gary Vee, Tim Ferriss, and even Benjamin Franklin have talked about how powerful this method is, helping people fast track their success. 
The basic idea behind this rule is you need to block out at least five hours per week to study something that will improve your skills and help you grow. I block out five one hour time slots just after lunch throughout my week to study things that I'm interested in and it just will expand my knowledge and help me along the way. Recent things I've been studying is about central banks, human psychology, climate change, artificial intelligence. The more left field it is, the better because it's just gonna expand your circle of competence. About a year ago, I used this method to read blog posts by David Sachs, which got me obsessed with SaaS and now I'm just launching my own SaaS project. The reason why I believe the five hour role is so damn effective and will put you miles ahead is because very few people invest the time to upskill and expand their knowledge. Most people just think that they know everything and that's the complete wrong way to look at it. You can learn so much just surface level knowledge of things by picking up books, listening to audiobooks, even watching YouTube videos. If you're focused just too much on your industry, you might miss opportunities to grow or link industries together, such as like SaaS and e-commerce, linking them together and creating awesome tools like Trend Rocket. The truth is staying productive over a long period of time is hard. Everyone experiences burnout. These hacks are a first step in the right direction but you just need to constantly remind yourself why you want to be successful is it financial freedom is it to change the world thinking about these big goals will make the small tasks ahead of you feel very very easy don't forget to like and subscribe thanks